Seoul aims to end nuclear D3 adlock between North Korea, Washington. This story is being published by Politico as part of a content partnership with the South China Morning Post. It on SCMP as talks between Washington and Pyongyang on denuclearization appear to have stalled after last months between President and North Korean leader ended without agreement, is looking for ways to end the impasse. A statement issued by Seoul's presidential Blue House on Monday said the time was now right for the two Koreas to hold further talks, you building upon President's policy of rapprochement, which saw him meet Kim three times last year. We're in a deep agony over how to take advantage of this baton that has been handed over to us, said the statement, attributed to a high-ranking official. We agree with the view that no deal is better than a bad deal A. However, in reality, it is difficult to achieve complete denuclearization at one stroke. I think we need to... After last month's summit in Hanoi was by several hours, Trump told reporters that Pyongyang had wanted sanctions lifted in their entirety, but we couldn't do that A. We had to walk away from it. Contradicted this claim, with the country's foreign minister R.I. Yongho, later Pyongyang had made realistic proposals in return for a partial lifting of sanctions. In the days and weeks to end the impasse, South Korea wants to get the North to agree with a broad roadmap aimed to achieve the overarching goal of denuclearization, according to the Blue House statement. On the basis of that, we should make further efforts to turn a small deal into a deal that is good enough. In order to achieve, Yoon Sung Suk, a professor of political science at Connem University, said there were mounting fears among many in the South that the breakdown in talks would affect efforts at reconciliation with the North. President Moon has put everything on the success of diplomacy with the North, as he faces falling approval ratings amid the sluggish economy. For him, during Moon's with Kim last year, the two signed an agreement to bring forward the future of co-prosperity and unification and encourage more active cooperation, exchanges, visits and contacts at all levels. Both sides subsequently took steps to defuse tensions by near the demilitarized zone that separates them and on cross-border railways and roads. But without substance, Seoul's idea is that the North and the US reach a compromise in which Pyongyang implements a complete denuclearization phased in a couple of steps rather than at one stroke, he said. In an interview on Sunday, National Security Advisor criticized the North Korean side for not being willing to do what they needed to do to reach a deal, while also mooting the possibility of China being involved in future talks. The idea that there's a role for China in the negotiations is something that we'd be willing to consider if we could see some movement on North Korea's part, he said in the interview with New York radio station M970. What they could do more of is apply more pressure on North Korea. They could apply them.